Hey guys, so I'm in Leeds and I'm going to go to Schimler's and you've probably all heard of Schimler's but I'm going to go for something that you did not expect. You probably know them for like really good shawarmas, they've got a really good mixed grill. However, they've launched a new menu. If you can see how wet it is, I don't want to get out of the car, I'll be honest with you. I, 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 I'm, I'm not leaving this car. It's actually, I've parked directly outside. Um, you can see the Schimler's shawarma specialists sign. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I think there might be uh, another couple of creators in there. I'm not really sure. You'll have to find out if you watch the video. Right, we're here. Let's uh, get inside and out of the rain. But quick shot. This is where we are in Leeds. Don't know where this is. I'll link it down below. We're going to head inside. Right, I've had a look at the breakfast menu, which I actually don't have with me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the big hitters. They've got a couple of boxes. There's a, there's a little surprise item in one of the boxes that I've got. So I'm going to show that off. But it's the first time I've been in this actual restaurant. It's lovely. There's some like ambient music, some piano playing in the background. And if you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more foodie content, I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you want to see that, make sure you hit subscribe and you turn on all your notifications. So the brata comes with, uh, got some sag, we've, uh, which is spinach. We've got some jana. We've got uh, some of this yogurt and it comes with a tea, but you have a choice of drinks. And then we've got the puri, which comes with chana, alva, it comes with a jar, and then again you have a choice of drinks. There's a ton of food here. Quickly, something I want to mention is salty lassi. I've not had that since I went to Pakistan, so that'd be cool. And then I saw this on the menu, right? So this is kind of like a breakfast muffin burger type thing, which I think is pretty cool. It comes with chips and fish fingers. You know if there's fish fingers on a menu, on a breakfast menu, I'm getting it, so I already knew I was going to get that. And then I think these are uh, pieces of right here we can see it's kind of in between the tender and popcorn chicken to be fair by the way we have other creators here we've got e with fizza you can carry on your conversation i don't really mind um okay what what am i going for first i'd say try the puri of prata because they're nice and warm well, yeah yeah that's true actually they'll go weird if they go cold right all right let's try actually the puri first let's give this a go guys my youtube audience everyone else knows has anyone noticed anything different about me has anyone noticed anything different about my like stylistic choices no clues or anything, right? No, no, it's a different. This is a cool man. Um, I am, like, I am. I thought, you know what? Let's 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 um do something a bit different. So we're gonna try the buri. I'm gonna go actually for like a proper all-encompassing bite. Normally I do everything individually, but I'm very hungry. So we're gonna go for the actual alva itself and the chana together. I normally, like I said, do it separately, but let's keep it. Real. If you're coming in, you're gonna mix them up, right? Let's uh, get some of the chana as well, and then I'll probably leave the achar because I don't have the brata to be fair. Oh, well, that puri is delicious. That's a really nice puri. They're quite hard to make, you know, because good elasticity to it, good pull to it. It's nice and soft. It's actually not too buttery, right? The alva is really good. The alva is nice. Again, sometimes alva can be a bit heavy, and the chana it's got a nice bit of spice, a tiny, tiny little kick to kind of balance the whole thing out. Because otherwise, that would be too sweet. As far as alva puri chana goes, this is one of the better ones I've had in Bradford. This is really good. What do you think? Guys, if you know what I think is sweet center, that's I think my first ever review in Bradford, or second, I said sweet center is the best Brad breakfast in Bradford. Please say it's on par. And honestly, I agree. This is delicious. This is getting a hey man. If you're coming here, look, I haven't tried the rest of the food, but there's probably a few of you. Try the Alva Puricana. Do give that a go because that is a, is a knockout. Something I do want to say is the Leeds and Bradford branches of Schimler's that are doing the Alva Puricana. Or is it the whole breakfast menu? I believe, but I will clarify in the in the in the description. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Leeds and Bradford. I do think this is right. You know, prata and whatnot. You have to eat when it's hot, really, so it's nice and crispy. Um, actually, you know, our family we have two types. So my uh, sister, she makes like a thick prata, like a thick kind of uh, not so crispy. You know, like a proper like three dark bar always combined. Whereas my auntie makes this like thin crispy ones. Do you know what I mean? So they're not always like the same. So depending on which one we want, we get to different places. So this actually looks amazing. Look at the colours on that. We're going to give this a go. I've just destroyed that, guys. But I did it for a shot on YouTube, so I think that deserves a like. We're gonna try this burrata. We're gonna have a bit of sag with it, I think. And should I combine it with the day, the yogurt? Yeah, maybe try it first, and then have the I'm just, I'm greedy. Okay. Let's try sag. I think the sag would be better, uh, or would look good with aloo in it as well as potato. I, I would rather not do Oh, really? Okay. I love sagaloo. A bit of sagaloo.
Do you know what, right? The sod, the pallet, whichever the spinach, is levels. So that's actually a. There's two days off. That is delicious. That's one of the best uh, sags I've had in a very, very long time. But is nice, it's really tasty, it's crispy, it's buttery, it's flaky. But the sag kind of stole the show there. I'll be honest with you, this is getting a hay. Man, this is, I would come here just for this to be honest. Mmm. That's one of the best spinach dishes I've had in a long time. Long time. And this isn't exactly a curry house, so they've like, they've nailed it. I think, yeah, I've had, I've had curries, but for me, I come for shawarma. I come for shawarma meat. The curries are decent, I do like them, I did a review. Do check it out for my full thoughts. But it's not somewhere that I think, oh, you know, curry house, it's not. But that is a proper legit curry, that is. I really like that. Recording. I is recording, woo! It is recording, if it wasn't, I'd have been, oh my God. Okay, so, a little bit blown away by that, I'll be honest with you, that was a little bit of a surprise. I did not expect this. Okay, yes, you are seeing fish fingers on a breakfast menu. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Do you know what, it's, my review's been so easy today because I've got like fizzes here and then it's like I've come in and she's pointed me in the right direction to the plate, the things I need to get. So, this to be fair, it doesn't scream breakfast, does it? Let's keep it real. Stir fried donut, chicken, fish fingers, chips. And they've got like a, it looks like it's a brioche bun, but it's kind of like, it's got egg, <clears throat> egg in there, hash browns, they kind of, you know when you go to McDonald's and they give you that kind of muffin with the egg and the and the and, and the patty and, and that kind of stuff. I, I guess reminiscent of that a little bit, but not a lot. However, let's keep it real. If you're coming in, there's three or four of you, one of you is gonna to wanna to get chips and fish fingers or something, right? One of you is gonna to wanna to get something that isn't breakfast. I would really get the breakfast if you're coming for breakfast, but I wanna check this out anyway. And also, who's had fish fingers for breakfast? I know a lot of you are going to be looking in the comments or are going to be commenting in the, in the, in the, in the comments saying, oh, who has fish fingers for breakfast? You know, when we grew up, we had this. This was a proper staple for us. Every breakfast, be it beans on toast, we'd have waffles, we'd have fish fingers, we'd have all sorts. This has just been a major surprise, if I'm being honest. Uh, I didn't think I would drop a couple of hay man. So they're always happy when I can do that, always happy when I can do that. So I need to find a good place. We're gonna try this. Again, I probably wouldn't come here or get this rather, I should say, if I'm coming for breakfast. This seems more like a lunch dinner thing for me, but there's gonna be someone that wants it, right? So as you can see here, I've got some stir fry donna. I think there's some stir fry shawarma actually uh, in there rather. Um, and we have a hash brown in there on a brioche bun with a fried egg as well. To be fair, I maintain what I said before, that's tasty. If I had that for lunch, for dinner, I'd be a happy man. That's tasty, that's actually really good. I was expecting to drop a perfectly serviceable. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was, I was, but that's really good. That's actually really good, that's a tasty burger. I would happily have that. The hash brown adds a bit of crunch. The stir fried meat in there is actually really good. I mean, to be fair, these guys are known for their shawarma. It's very good. Last time I came, I don't think I had it stir fried. I would probably get, if I'm being honest, if I came here, you know what I would do? I'd probably get the regular, that's what they're known for, get the mayo, oh my, these guys are, it's, I know it sounds odd to you if, you've not, if you didn't know that, but then one of the things they're really good at is mayo, Tr just trust me, get the mayo, eat the mayo, and then come in the comments and say, sorry Ali, for judging you for boosting mayo so much. However, I'll probably get the stir fry donut too actually now, that we're probably gonna try it for sure, do you know what, this is just, I know it's just a standard for shringer, right? It's, it's a standard for shringer, but this is nostalgic, it reminds me of being young, it reminds me in the morning making beans toast, um, in the beans I would mix sweet corn, I'd put some pepper, um, we'd, have <clears throat> we'd have waffles, and then we'd have fish fingers as well. Nostalgia. Something to mention is they actually do English breakfast. I just didn't fancy getting it. I'd, so I'm not reviewing that, so try it. Let me know what you think. I'd, I've not had it. Salty lassi. I'm not really a fan of salty, milky drinks. Like, you know, is it um, Ariane? It's like a thing that I've had in some Syrian restaurants, some Lebanese restaurants. I've had it in some Middle Eastern restaurants, right? It's essentially a salty milk-based drink. I, I'll be honest, I'm just not a fan. It's just not something that I like. I like sweet, like mango lassi, but salted lassi, for me, I know, this is a proper, you know, Desi, Pakistani type thing. At, if I go back home, they have this all the time. So I know it's popular, so I can see why they put it on the menu, but on a personal level, it's just not something that I've ever really enjoyed. Yeah, it's just not for me. You know what we used to do when we were younger? We used to get um, yogurt, like they, right? And for a treat, my mom would mix sugar in there. So she'd get like literally like a pot like this, put sugar in, mix it up for us, and we'd have that as like a treat, you know? Like, do you know what? This review has just been nostalgic for me. Like, <laughs> the whole review has been so nostalgic. It's been actually really nice. Now, this comes actually with the buddy 
Um, but I would probably have it with the burrata, to be fair, if it was if it were me. Um, and I think they said the achar came with the um, buri as well, which I would probably have again with with burrata. I would have a achar with burrata. I wouldn't really have it with the buri, but maybe I've just got that a little bit mixed up in my head. Maybe have a look at the menu, guys. I might have just got that a little bit mixed up. A trademark of a desi tea is you see that there, that film there. That's we call that the Malay. That's called Malay. And if you've ever picked at that too early, you know the pain of having all the tiny little bits of Malay in your drink that you have to collectively pick out, and then the rim of your cup is just full of bits of Malay. You know the actual collective pain again. That happened to me all the time as a kid. Nostalgia just on full display here in this review. This has been fun. This has actually been really good. Okay, let me try and, do you know what? I think I've kind of nailed that, but not, not really. If you look down there, um, the Malay was a bit thin, so I messed it, but it's nice. They don't add sugar to that, which is good because then you can add your own. But it's like a proper desi tea. It goes well with the parata, I would say, or really with the whole breakfast. Yeah, do you know what? This has been a good one. I've been really, really happy with this. They've got uh, some really great breakfast items. Dropped a couple of Heymans now. Get the, the sarg, the spinach dish was fantastic. The alva puri chana was Great. Now, this dish here, if you're looking for some donna, that kind of stuff, do try it, do try it. I would come, honestly, if I'm coming for breakfast, I'd come for the breakfast items and I'd get this maybe later on in the day. Um, to be fair, I don't think they'll do that later on, they'll, all the fish fingers, but they'll do the, the, the donna and the shawarma. But guys, tell me where I should go next in Leeds. If you're from Leeds or Yorkshire in general, actually, tell me where I should try next. But for now, if you can like, if you can follow, if you can comment to help me out, that'll help this page grow that will be great subscribe like share comment for more i'm going to link to you now a little leads playlist if you can check that out that'll be great but i'll see you guys in the next video bye 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 bye, bye.